OLTP stands for Online Transaction Processing. It's a type of database architecture that is designed to handle a massive amount of data insertions, updates, and delete operations. Basically, it's a system that can process hundreds or thousands of transactions per second, which makes it ideal for applications that need to process a high volume of transactions, such as banking, e-commerce, and mobile apps. Sounds impressive, right? You might be surprised to learn that OLTP is used in ATMs, financial transaction systems, online bookings, ticketing, and over a dozen major applications. So if you want to make yourself familiar with OLTP systems and learn more about this amazing technology, stay tuned with us until the end of this session. If you're an aspiring data analyst looking for online training and certifications from prestigious universities and in collaboration with leading experts, then search no more. SimpliLearn's postgraduate program in data analyst from Purdue University in collaboration with IBM should be your right choice. For more details, use the link mentioned in the description box below. With that in mind, over to our training experts. Hey everyone, let's get started. First, we shall discuss the agenda for today's session. First, we will understand what exactly is OLTP. Followed by that, we will understand the characteristics of OLTP. Then moving ahead, we will learn what are the types of queries that an OLTP platform can actually process. Then, we will dive into the architecture of OLTP. And lastly, we will understand the advantages of using an OLTP platform. I hope I made myself clear with the agenda. Now proceeding ahead, the first one is, what is an OLTP platform? The answer for this question is, OLTP stands for Online Transaction Processing. It is a type of computing that involves managing and processing many transactions in real time over the internet or a network. OLTP systems are designed to handle day-to-day -day business operations where numerous concurrent users can access and modify data simultaneously. Now that we have understood the technical definition of OLTP, let's proceed ahead and understand what are the characteristics of OLTP platform. The main characteristics of OLTP platform include the following. The first one, asset properties. OLTP systems must record the entire transaction correctly. A transaction is usually an execution of a program that may require the execution of multiple steps or operations. It may be complete when all the parties acknowledge the transaction, when the product or service is delivered, or a certain number of updates are made to the specific tables in a database. A transaction is recorded correctly only if all the steps involved are executed and recorded. If there is any error, in any steps, the entire transaction must be aborted and all the steps must be deleted from the system. Thus, OLTP systems must comply with atomic, consistent, isolated and durable properties which is also known as asset properties to ensure the accuracy of the data in the system. Now moving ahead, the next characteristic is the concurrency. OLTP systems can have enormously large user populations with many users trying to access the same data simultaneously. The system must ensure that all these users are trying to read or write into the system can do so concurrently. Concurrency controls guarantee that two users accessing the same data in the database system simultaneously will not be able to change the data or that one user has to wait until the other user has finished processing before changing that single piece of data. Now moving ahead, the next characteristic is scale. OLTP systems must be able to scale up and scale down instantaneously to manage the transaction volume in real time and execute transactions concurrently irrespective of the number of users trying to access the system. Moving ahead, the next one is availability. An OLTP system must always be available and ready to accept transactions. Loss of a transaction can lead to a loss of revenue or may have illegal implications. Because transactions are being executed from anywhere in the world and anytime, the system must be available 24-7. Next is High Throughput and Short Response Time OLTP systems require nanosecond or even shorter response times to keep enterprise users productive and meet the growing expectations of the customers. Moving ahead, we have reliability. OLTP systems typically read and manipulate highly selective small amounts of data. It is paramount that at any given time, the data in the database is reliable and trustworthy for the users and applications accessing the data. Next is security. 
Because these systems store highly sensitive customer transaction data, data security is critical. Any breach can be very costly for the company. And lastly, the recoverability. OLTP systems must be able to recover in case of any hardware or software failure. Now that we have finished the characteristics of OLTP platform, now we will understand the types of queries that an OLTP system can process. So, Online Transaction Processing or OLTP systems can perform several types of queries to handle day-to-day -day business operations effectively. Some of the common types of queries include Insert Queries, Update Queries, Delete Queries, Select Queries, Search Queries, Filter Queries, Join Queries, Aggregate Queries, Sorting Queries, Group Queries, Transaction Queries, and Constraint Queries. Let's understand them in a bit more detail. Firstly, Insert Queries. Insert queries are used to add new data records, rows or columns to the database. Now, update queries modify existing data records or rows in database to reflect changes or updates. The delete query removes the records or rows from the database when they are no longer needed. Next is select queries retrieve specific data records or rows from the database on specified criteria. Fifth one is search queries. They are used to find specific data elements or patterns within the database. Filter queries apply filters to query results to retrieve only the relevant data. Join queries combine data from multiple tables based on specific conditions to create more comprehensive result. Eighth one is aggregate queries which perform calculations on data such as computing sums, average, count or other aggregate functions. Sorting queries arrange query results in a specific order such as ascending or descending based on a particular column. Now the 10th one is grouping queries which group data based on specific columns to analyze category information and transactional queries are the queries that are related to initiation, management and completion of transactions ensuring the asset properties are maintained. And lastly, the constraint queries. They validate and enforce various constraints, example unique keys, foreign keys on the data to ensure data integrity. OLTP systems are primarily designed for handling these short and straightforward queries in real time, allowing businesses to process and manage many concurrent transactions efficiently. Now moving ahead, we will understand the architecture of OLTP platforms. Now the following picture represents the architecture of OLAP and OLTP platforms. Now let's understand them in a bit more detail. Business strategy. Business strategy deals with the issues that affect the organization. In OLTP, it is typically developed at high level within the firm by board of directors or the top management. Business process. OLTP business process is a set of activities and tasks that once completed will accomplish an organizational goal. Next is customers, orders and products. OLTP database stores information about products, orders that is transactions, customers which are buyers, suppliers who are the sellers and employees. Next is the ETL process. It separates the data from various RWMS source systems, then transforms the data like applying concatenations, calculations, etc. and loads the processed data into the data warehouse system. Next is data mart and data warehouse. A data mart is a structure or access pattern specific to a data warehouse environment. Data mining, analytics and decision making is the next one. Data stored in data mart and warehouse can be used for data mining, analytics and decision making. This data helps you discover patterns, analyze raw data and make more analytical decisions for your organization's growth. Now with that, let's proceed to the next section of today's session that is based on OLTP advantages. There are many advantages of using an OLTP platform. We will discuss the top 5 ones. So the first one amongst the top 5 advantages of OLTP platforms are real-time data access. OLTP systems provide immediate access to up-to-date data, enabling users to make timely and informed decisions based on the latest information. Next is concurrent user support. OLTP systems can handle multiple users simultaneously, ensuring smooth operation during peak times. Third one is data integrity. OLTP systems maintain data integrity by enforcing asset properties ensuring that transactions are processed reliably and accurately. Next is efficient transaction processing. OLTP systems efficiently process small frequent transactions making them ideal for day-to-day -day business operations. And lastly enhanced business productivity. 
OLTP systems boost overall business productivity and responsiveness by streamlining transactional process and providing quick access to critical data. We have reached the end of this session on what is OLTP. Should you need any assistance, PPT and any other resources used in this session, please let us know in the comment section below and a team of experts will be happy to help you as soon as possible. Until next time, thank you and keep learning. Stay tuned for more from Simply Learn. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.